What up, what up, what up, everybody? It's the one and only and only one, Flea Boy Jetson. And if you're tuning in for the first time, please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, you're already notified. Also, click that notification bell so you can be notified for upcoming videos and everything you need to know about Naruto the Baruto Shinobi Striker. Trust me, I got you covered right here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, yesterday was a lot to unpack. Secret Techniques basically translated the whole Naruto Uzumaki Final Battle DLC. And man, was it a lot to unpack. But we're going to break it all down and give you everything you need to know about this DLC before it comes out. From the movesets, to the rewards, to basically my thoughts and inputs on what he's about to do to the meta and game changing. Now let's get straight to the rewards. Alright, now the first reward you're going to get is basically you're going to unlock your VR Master, the Naruto Uzumaki DLC himself. So he's going to be playable for Ninja World League, um, Survival Mode, Quick Match, etc, etc. Now the second reward you're going to unlock is the Truth Seeking Ball, which disable enemies' attacks and resets their ninjutsus and ninja tools. And this is the part that got me like, what, what, what the does this do the ninjutsu can be moved while defending and can be attacked with bullets by additional input that's the part i don't get so let's break this ninjutsu down real quick basically it disables enemies attack so it's something like a water pillar i'm pretty sure there'll be a couple of counters to it anything that'll break water pillar will probably will break this ninjutsu as well but it also can be moved which Water Pillar can't, so it's going to be kind of difficult to see how they fan that out. You know, it's going to be it's going to be crazy. I ain't even going to hold you. It's going to be crazy, crazy for Flag Battle. Um, I don't think it'll be used for base. Maybe. It might just be used for base. Something like a Sand Shield will be used for base to push people off the base. Who knows? Now, the part that gets me, and of course it resets Ninjutsus and Ninja Tools, which is OP. So imagine being on a base battle getting hit with that, getting your ninjutsu reset it, and then you slid off the base. Kind of overpowered, man, in my opinion. Well, let's wait to see what happens. But now the part that really gets me, it says the nin ninjutsu can be moved while defending, and it can be attacked with bullets by additional input. So does that mean, does it have like a second effect to it? Like, can you throw secret orbs or something? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what that means. I've, I've been trying to wrap my head around it for a long time. Alright, so let's continue on with the next set of reward. And the next one will be the Naruto Uzumaki Final Battle Drip. Now, I know a lot of us already seen it. It's right here if you haven't. But I think this is pretty dope. He looks a little frail. I ain't even going front. Like the in, entire looks like a little, little frail, but I hope it looks different on our CACs. I can't wait to put it on, to be honest with you. I'm going to go classy with it. You already know the vibe. The next reward will be the clone technique, multiple shadow clone jitsu, which was forbidden in the anime. And I hope it's super OP in Naruto to Baruto Shinobi Striker. And I hope it kind of pushes away the shadow clone jitsu because most of the pros only use that jitsu. They don't really got too much versatile as far as clones go because they feel like it's the best clone in the game. So I hope this one could supersede the shadow clone jitsu. But let's wait and see what happens in the future. Alright, our fourth reward is the second of the ninjutsus, which would be the six path chakra resuscitation, which revives allies within range and also gives them attack and defense buffs, which is pretty fucking OP, bro. I could just see this going crazy on base now. Now, when it says range, I'm pretty sure it has limitations on how far it can heal you, but the fact that it gives you an attack and defense buff at the same time, bro, it's about to change base battle forever. I'm telling you, I feel like they based this DLC off of base battle. Like, they, they made this DLC around base battle because everybody knows Base battle and combat are the two most popular game modes. So why wouldn't they add something to that? So let's go. Let's continue on. We're going to talk more about this. But let's go to reward number five, which is the secret technique 
six path ultra big ball rosin shuriken now this has two phases most like most of the ultimates that we've been getting lately that has two parts to it now phase one revives your enemies that's incapable of fighting and the number of times you use the ninjutsu it basically recovers your physical strength which is interesting because not only does it work like a methodic which i hope it does or revives them that's incapable of fighting which means could they be trapped on something could they be about to die could they be dead and then you activate it and they come back to life who knows let's wait and find out now the second part generates two more rosin shurikens to shoot at your enemies so basically you get two four of these rosin shurikens two you throw at your allies and two you throw at your enemies which is what I'm getting from this I could be wrong let me know in the comment section what y'all think about the ultimate I think is definitely gonna change the meta and healers are definitely gonna start using this over feather illusion and, and slugs well I don't know slugs is still kind of OP but man this is low-key about to really break the game now reward number six will be the shinobi boost technique tags in case you're interested in getting those but you'll definitely receive those from the vr master as your reward all right all right now this is where things get a little spicy reward number seven will be our very own ashura otsutsuki and whoever knows me knows i've been obsessed with the otsutsuki clan lately most of my live streams themes are based off of it so us getting his hairstyle and reward number eight will be his outfit as well bro i'm going ham y'all already know so pr get ready for the otsutsuki build videos get ready for the the the, the motherfucking live streams Get ready, because we going classy. So tell a friend to tell a friend we going dumb again. We're getting our first Otsutsuki member in Naruto, the Baruto Shinobi Striker. But this has me a little concerned. Because if Ashura is coming, outfit and hairstyle is coming with Naruto Uzumaki, the final battle DLC. That leads me to believe Indra is going to come with Sasuke. And I'm a little disappointed if that's going to be our final and fifth DLC. But now the evidence is starting to... I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Do you think Indra, um hairstyle and outfit is going to come with the Sasuke final battle DLC? Do you think we're going to get a final battle DLC um, Sasuke? Let me know in the comments section below. But let's go classy, man. I can't believe it. We finally getting introduced to the Osasuki members in this game, and I can't wait for it. Now, technique, I mean, excuse me, reward number nine will be the Shinobi Boost technique tags again, so you'll get a couple of those. And last but not least, we'll get a lobby action for a sex appeal pose. Now, that'll probably look something like this. I don't know how excited you are for it, but me, I'm really not that excited. For you pervy sages, though, I know y'all can't wait for it. So, there you go. It's on its way. And last but not least, we're going to get a uh, honorary um, title, surprisingly, number one ninja title. Let me know what y'all think about the rewards and everything that you needed to know about Naruto Uzumaki, the final DLC, we got you covered here on the channel. As soon as more information comes out, it'll be provided to you. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check my boy Secret Technique. Um, Naruto the Barto Shinobi Strike is out on YouTube. He just hit a thousand, man. Go classy. So y'all already know what the vibe is, man. Catch me at 4 p.m. Central Time. I stream daily Clan Wars. Is this Saturday, tomorrow, it's going down. So make sure you click that notification bell so you can be notified for all live events, streams, etc. Man, remember, love yourself and love others, man. Loyalty is royalty, so shout out all my kings and queens. And if you made it to this far and you in the premiere, you a motherfucking goat. But I'm out this bitch. It's the one and only and only one. Flea Boy Jetson, huh? Y'all seen me whooping ass too that whole match.
Send down! 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 Send down!